Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with a quick tip for you. I'm going to show you today how I make a self-watering crack key method, that's K-R-A-T-K-Y method uh, planter for your seedling. And what are you going to get from the seedling? Is Here's an example. I've been growing this lettuce in the water um, with nutrients. And this is the root growth that I get. Beautiful root growth. Oop, watch it. Some beautiful root growth there. Let me make sure that this doesn't fall out. And uh, I don't use anything out of the ordinary. This this works out pretty well for me. Um, that's lettuce. And uh, this is... I tried it with some soil instead. But this is with uh, a tomato plant. And as you can see, this is working really well too with the tomato plant. So I can grow my small plants, get them started in the hydroponic system here, and it works out pretty well. So let me show you how to create that one. Now the type of mason jar that I'm using right here is a three inch mason jar because with the three inch mason jar, these three inch net cups will work just fine. But as you saw with the tomato plant, if you don't have any of these jars or if you don't have the size jar or the size um, net cup, you can always use um, just some cardboard and cut out a hole with that. Okay, so let's get it started. It's not too difficult. What we're going to do is to keep the light out so there's no algae growth, is we're going to wrap it in tin foil or aluminum foil. Now, I got the cheap foil this time uh, because it was at the dollar store, but I highly recommend spending a little more money and getting a little bit thicker grade that way you don't get these these tears in it so we're just gonna measure out real quick the amount that we want you want to go over just a little bit just like that okay so just about here maybe a little bit more always more is a little bit better that way you can over and then we're just gonna tear that off okay so this is the simple part. We're just going to give it a little bit of a lip here. Not too much, but just a little bit of a lip so that we can make sure that we get all the way around. And we're going to wrap it. Okay. And then we're going to tape it up here. Yeah. Okay, and there we have it. Now, what I usually do, since I have this much slack, I got a lot of slack here, I usually cut some of that off. Um, but just to keep it simple, we're just gonna go like this and pat it down, okay? And then we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna make sure we get the contours in. And we're going to bring it over the lip just a little bit like that. Real simple. Now, as you can see what I was talking about, this um, aluminum foil tears very easily. So uh, it, it's not 100% uh, see-through. I mean, 100% preventing the, the light to come through. So I might get some algae growth in there, which is why getting the cheap stuff is never cheap in the long run. It always ends up costing more because now I have to go back to the store and get some thicker aluminum. But for this, this tutorial purpose, uh, this will be a nice little way to show you how it works. Okay, the next step is to measure how much water you're going to put. So what you want is you want just the roots to be able to touch the water. You don't want the water to get all the way up to here because you will suffocate your plant. You will drown your plant. So the best way to do this is to take your, take your net cup or whatever uh, cup you're going to use and just pour in your water. Now, this is not just water, this is uh, neutral, nutrient based water. Uh, actually, let me show you what it has. It has, um, per gallon, I use two grams, I'm sorry, one gram of magnesium sulfate. I also use two grams of calcium nitrate and two grams of this um, master blend uh, tomato and stuff growth formula. So the master blend is two grams. 
the calcium nitrate is two grams and the uh, magnesium sulfate is just one gram. So with these giant bags like this, I'll have enough for several gallons of, um, of formula to, to be able to feed. So basically what we want is the water to touch just slightly on the bottom here. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour. We have it touching just slightly the bottom right in here. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see this, but I have the water just slightly touching the bottom. And now we have the amount that we need. So the next step is to get your plant ready. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your plant very gently. Okay. So see here you got the roots. Okay, so the roots are looking for sustenance here. So all we're going to do is try to feed these roots so that they can make sure that we get them right in here. Once we have this in here like this, I'm going to get some stones around it to help stabilize it. Now these stones are just regular fish stones um, from for an aquarium. And the reason I use these is so that um, I can reuse them you know uh, they're they're glass so I can wash them very easily and all we're doing is we're trying to prevent light from getting through here okay so once we have this pretty much situated like this okay we're making sure that no light can really get into there now we can just place it in here and we're fine. Now we just let it grow. Maybe one more here. Just like that. And now we see that there's no light. So we can put this either under the grow light or we can put it outside and it will grow just fine. Uh, and apart from being able to leave, keep the light out, it'll also reflect some of the heat so it won't get too hot in here. So that's a pretty quick way to get your crack key method working in a mason jar. Thank you very much.